Assalamualaikum. Welcome back on my channel. You are with Uzaif Asale. Today we will learn how the gas power plant cycle is improved. Before we start today's video, have you checked my second channel? Link is given in the description. So there are three ways to improve gas turbine. First of them is by the usage of intercooler. Second method is by reheating. And the third method is by usage of heat exchanger regeneration. Let's start our discussion with first method which is usage of intercooler between the two compressors. Let me draw its TS diagram, then we will discuss how gas power plant is improved. From 1 to 2, it is compression in LPC, which is low pressure compressor. And 2 to 3, it is intercooler. 3 to 4 is also compression in high pressure compressor. 4 to 5 is combustion chamber. Enthalpy will be increased as well as temperature. 5 to 6 is expansion in turbine. Now, if we don't use intercooler, then there would be a single compressor. The green line shows the TS diagram without intercooler. The points with subscript S are ideal, reversible cases. And those points in which S is absent are for real cases. Now let us check the claim whether the intercooler improved the cycle or not by writing the formulas for both cases. In working to formula, we have to do less work on gas to compress when we are using intercooler as compared to the absence of it. In heat supplied formula, greater amount of heat is supplied in case of intercooler as compared to the absence of it. And the work output amount is same in both cases. So by using intercooler, work ratio is increased as it is the ratio of work output to the work input. And cycle efficiency is decreased as it is the ratio of net output to the heat supplied. To use this method to improve the gas power plant, there are three conditions. First is, compression ratio must be same in each compressor. Second is, intercooler must be 100% efficient. means it must make the temperature which was at the inlet of the compressor after each stage. Third is polytropic index gamma must be same for each stage. Second method is reheating. In this method we use more than one combustion chamber and the same number of turbines. The specific arrangement shown in the diagram is known as the twin shaft arrangement which is used for the fluctuating loads. First is inlet point and 1 to 2 is compression. From 2 to 3 compressed gas is combusted in first chamber and after that 3 to 4 it is expanded in high pressure turbine. In 4 to 5 it is again combusted in second chamber and at point 6 it is exhausted. If we don't use reheat method, after point 4, the process will be progressed as shown by red line. Let us check the results of this method by writing the formulas for both cases. First is work input, which would be same for both cases. Next is heat supplied, 
which is greater in case of reheating. Net work output we get greater in case of reheating. So, by the usage of reheating method, we will get less cycle efficiency and greater net work output. Now, the third method, heat exchanger, also known as regeneration. In this method, the exhausted gases are used to heat up the air before it enters the combustion chamber. From 1 to 2, it is compression. From 2 to 3, the temperature is raised by the exhausted gases. From 3 to 4, the air is combusted. 4 to 5 in TS diagram shows the expansion and 5 to 6 the heat is transferred to the air from exhausted gases. By using this method we can increase the cycle efficiency as we have to provide less heat in combustion chamber and we can raise temperature by recycling the heat. In this method, burden is remain same. These were three methods to improve the gas turbine power plant. At the same time, all three methods can be used to improve the gas power plant. Let's see, can we draw gas power plant's diagram with intercooler, reheater and heat exchanger. What are you waiting for? If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.